In this video, you will learn how to stream third-party application logs from a Google Compute Engine instance into cloud logging using the Ops Agent. The Ops Agent is the primary agent for collecting logs and telemetry from GCE instances and setting that data to your Google Cloud project. The Ops Agent contains two parts, open telemetry for gathering metrics within an instance, such as CPU, memory realization, disk and swap usage, and so forth. Meanwhile, FluentBit provides a flexible and high-throughput collection of application logs and will be the focus in this video. The Ops Agent supports several Google Verified integrations with third-party applications like MySQL Database, Apache Web Server, or a Microsoft Active Directory domain server. Check out the link below for a complete list. You aren't limited to Google Verified integrations. If you have an application that writes logs to a text file, a TCP port, or to the system's logging service, then you can use the Ops Agent to send those logs to your cloud project. The Ops Agent, or specifically the underlying FluentBit technology, uses the concept of a pipeline. A pipeline starts with a receiver that describes how to collect the logs that the application generates. Then, a processor describes how to manipulate the information collected by a receiver, such as by modifying or excluding the log entries. This step, however, is optional. The pipeline ends by dispatching the log entry to cloud logging, where all logs can be queried and displayed in the Google Cloud Console. There are several documented and supported ways to install the Ops Agent, depending on your deployment model. To install the Ops Agent on a fleet of virtual machines, you can either use automation tools such as Terraform or Ansible, or use the gcloud command line tool to create agent policies. However, the easiest way to get started is by installing the agent on an individual VM, which we will cover in this video. Before installing the Ops Agent on an individual VM, make sure that the cloud logging and monitoring API services are enabled. The VM has access to remote package repositories either via the public internet or by providing the VM with private Google access. And finally, make sure that the instance runs a supported operating system. To install the Ops Agent on an individual Linux VM, do the following. From the Compute Engine page, select the target instance. Click on the Observability tab in the Instance Details page, and then click the Install Ops Agent button. This will provide a prompt to either copy the installation command, which can be run on any other command line interface that has a gcloud client installed, or run the command directly in Cloud Shell. If you want to install the Ops Agent on a Windows VM, or to install the Ops Agent manually, refer to the public documentation. There you'll find the shell command that you can copy and paste into the target's instance's command line terminal. The Ops Agent does not need any pre-configuration to run. By default, the Ops Agent collects only syslog in Linux or the Windows event log. To collect logs from third-party applications, you will need to modify the config YAML file, which is stored in the following directories in Linux and Windows. The first step to configure third-party application logging is to define one or more receivers. In this video, we collect log files from Pacemaker, an application used to monitor SAP systems but the same steps can be applied to any other application. Here, a receiver is defined by the ID pacemaker-log. It is configured to retrieve logs from files in three different paths in the local Linux file system. Then, the next step is to define one or more processors. This step is optional. It describes how to manipulate the information collected by a receiver. In this example, the processor with the ID pacemaker-exclude is configured to exclude logs that contain the text cib underscore file underscore backup. Finally, the pipeline with the ID pacemaker-pipeline is where the receiver and processor are linked together to create a data flow into cloud logging and completes this configuration example. Please note that the order of these configurable parameters must come in this exact order as described, first receivers, then processors, and finally pipelines. To verify that everything is working correctly, go to Cloud Logging in Google Cloud Console. Filter for the application logs, click on the Log Name menu, and search for the pipeline ID specified in the config.yaml file. In this case, the ID is pacemaker-log. Congratulations, you are now able to view the application logs in Cloud Logging. Be sure to restart the Ops Agent service to apply any changes made to the config.yaml file. Using the exclude logs processor has performance implications, so it's recommended that you avoid using this processor if you can exclude logs from the source directly. We recommend that you keep the agent up to date to take advantage of any new enhancements and features. Using the agent policies, you can enable auto upgrade to have this managed for you, but you may also upgrade at any time manually. To learn more about using the Ops Agent, check out the public documentation page for more tutorials and videos. Thanks for watching.